What's our blah, 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 blah. What, what was that? Yo, I, I don't know why, but I swear to you, 99.9% .9 of the time I'm tongue tied and pronouncing something completely out of place. But let's go ahead and get into the video. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another video. Make money with HRC. I'm your host, PG, out here walking these pups, trying to get them in line. So we're enjoying the slow sun that we got out here. So before we go ahead and jump into the video, remember to go ahead, hit the subscribe, hit the like, share, comment, drop a note, I'll get back to you. But uh, today we're just gonna talk about, you know, quick house cleaning that we, we definitely have to get into um, with certain platforms and what's taking place. I've been doing a lot of uh, just sidebar research and um, you know, checking out some comments that people are making about certain sites just to see what's going on and uh, certain apps when it comes to making money. So uh, the first one that we're gonna speak about is Instacart. Now, Instacart apparently has hired, I think like 300 something thousand people. And with them, of course, hiring all these people, it has made it extremely hard for anyone to pick up um, to pick up batches. Uh, if you don't know what a batch is, basically what Instacart does is every time someone places an order, they send you a batch. So that batch could consist of um, you work in one job, two job, three. I, I don't know how far the batches go, but I'm guessing that they probably wouldn't want to overload you with no more than like three or four orders because hey people do make mistakes accidents happen you know you don't want to overload somebody with too much grocery shopping so what uh instacart basically did was they hired all these people now that they've hired all these people um the regular normal folk that's on instacart isn't getting any um they're not able to get any jobs. And with that being said, a lot of people are actually being affected because um, especially people that I know that's in the Miami area or Florida, you know, they're like, hey, they have went from at least making a steady uh, income for the week to now most of the time they don't have batches or they don't have orders because all the orders are being taken at the drop of a dime. So imagine like logging into the app and once you log into the app, you're used to seeing your um, you're used to seeing the batch from from what I'm told. So the batches would be there, but somewhere along the line, before you could even select the batch, the batches are gone. Now I've been doing a lot of you know research just to see what's been going on, and I've heard so many different stories, so many different rumors. Um, the most recent one that I heard is that there is this company called Ninja. I forgot the name, but. Um, apparently there's these companies that you pay them, I think about 200 a month or something to that effect. And you basically set the, um, you basically set the permit per, well, you basically set the permit is for, uh, for what you're looking for. And based on when these batches come up, this app or this bot, it basically goes ahead, selects the job for you, sends it to you. So you're always on top something to that effect and with that being said the normal person they're not actually able to select it because most of these jobs are already gone so you know a lot of people are saying that people are paying bots to select for them and not only are the bots but then there's also the 300,000 people that are now on the instacart software um that's also affecting everyone that's been on the platform from getting jobs so with that being said um you know there's i don't think anyone's gonna see much of a fix as of right now because if you think about it uh i don't think instacart is actually gonna put a stop to these bots and you know a lot of people are saying yeah they're looking into it and they're gonna put a stop to it why are they gonna put a stop to it when technically speaking instacart's not losing money you get me like <laughs> they're winning because they know hey they're gonna be put out these batches and in seconds it's gonna be scooped up regardless if it's you know 
if it's a real person or a robot clicking it the point is somebody's picking up these jobs somebody's doing it so for them to sit there and say well you know what they're gonna shut this uh bot down or they're gonna shut these people down because they're taking jobs in an unethical manner type of sense then i don't see them doing much about it to be honest um because they want to continue to bring in revenue by any means type of thing um so i don't think they're going to be doing much about about these bots in any way shape or form now the second uh complaint that i heard was that uh you know customers are basically offering crazy crazy tips um to to the to the shoppers and once their items delivered they're then going ahead and they're canceling the tips hmm now <sighs> i don't even know what to say about that because it you know w when you look at what this person probably had to do to a drive to the location pick up your your items for you you know bring it back to you at least tip the person two dollars at least like just don't go in there and cancel your whole entire tip like i get it you know these it's their job they chose to do this but at least have some kind of like respect for the person not to cancel their tip like you know you didn't want to get out your house or leave your job or whatever it is to go shopping this person is however making a living doing shopping and sometimes they do depend on your tip wholeheartedly to make a profit and you're gonna cancel your whole entire tip like that is something that you know i think is pretty messed up so i had um i had a person that i know they told me that um their the the entire the entire amount of the order was basically i think like twenty dollars from instacart and about $13 in tip and you know uh the person told me that they had a great interaction with the customer um you know even if what the customer wanted wasn't available they basically went ahead and they they were able to speak with the customer get everything sorted great conversation great great rapport and you know she said that once uh the or once the payment actually posted to her account she's trying to figure out why she was missing a certain amount of money or why she was short a certain amount of money and um she tells me that she basically went in and apparently you're able to view the tips when she viewed the tips the lady took away the tip that's not that's not even cool you know so hey 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 stop i feel like i got children bro hey come on guys stop it so here it is now, you know, it, I don't know. I, I guess it just goes to show that like people, people are just going to be people. And from, I heard about the Instacart structure and how it works and how people are raving about how they're making money. You know, I, I support the, I support their platform for what they do. But for the simple fact of you're taking money out of somebody else's pocket after they've went and done you a service that's kind of crappy like that's not even cool by far but that's just my take on the whole instacart situation so not only there's possibly a bot or some kind of program out there that is basically sucking up every single order that comes in but you know you're now not getting tipped based on the simple fact of somebody could have went ahead gouged the tip out the fucking roof just wow i cursed oh my god i'm so sorry i try not to curse but you know here it is you're gouging on stuff that's just like yo that's kind of insane like somebody left their house to go shop for you and you really can't tip them 13 dollars. like come on um but yeah you know just just be careful of that people people can be nasty people can be mean um but it happens right and unfortunately i don't think that's something that they have control over fixing only because of the simple fact of how their business model set up from what i've read it's kind of like 
Instacart is going to do whatever in their best favor to make sure that they're always going to be profitable. And it's crazy when I see the amount of complaints that they have that, you know, people still actually use them for business. And it's kind of like, okay, so as much as you want to complain about these things, you're still using my platform, you're still doing whatever you're doing. And I think that's what a lot of people look at where it's like, regardless of what you say, you still need me. And um, that's the mindset that is being conveyed at least to me, you know, in, in my opinion, that's that's what's being done. So another entity that, you know, having problems or not even so much problems, but, you know, they're actually trying to eliminate a problem is YouTube. So if you're on YouTube like myself and as you know, you always see a lot of comments sub for sub, like for like, uh, help me build my following or help small YouTubers build. I'm not gonna lie, I've actually liked some of those people's comments um, because if I see it, I'm gonna thumb, I'm gonna give it a thumbs up and everything else like that. Apparently, that is a no-no uh, going forward in YouTube world. So definitely, please do be careful of that. So what's taking place is people are putting these comments out. YouTube is marketed as spam. And with that being said, if they find that you know you are also partaking in these activities. I think they give you three chances and then your account your account gets banned from YouTube. Um, so definitely please do keep a lookout for that. Um, do I essentially agree with it? Not really, because it's kind of like, you know, the people that make in a good amount of money, you could say from YouTube or the people that's making the YouTube money or the people that's been around since, you know, the start of YouTube and from like previous funny videos or whatever it is that they were doing they're basically getting royalties from that if you really think about it plus their new content but more so they already had a following they already had all these things in place so they're Gucci now for the small and up coming channels I would say that if you're gonna tell people not to um, not to hit like the sub for sub and all these other things then have something else in place you know um have something to to where it i get it they probably have like reddit groups and all this other stuff and all this other stuff but what if you don't have time to like join these groups and everything else but you could be watching a video and post you know follow me for blah 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 help me grow my channel <sighs> i don't know that's i don't see anything wrong with somebody asking for help you know um if you do it overly excessively and probably spam 6,000 people's account I'm not saying that you watch 6,000 videos but if you were to watch about 50 videos and do it on 45 yes then definitely there might be a problem there but if you're just doing it on one or two videos I really don't um, I really don't see why uh, YouTube would actually go ahead and ban you for that but you know I guess my follow-up to that is well what if I did, you know, I offered value or I gave a value based comment in the sense of I just, you know, I just watched the video about home improvement or something like that. And I'm like, hey, you know, thanks for the video. It's so informative. I really love your content, um, you know, sub for sub or would you like to follow me to build my channel? Is that considered uh, a part of violating their, um, is that considered part of violating uh, their their new policy so I would I would definitely want to know more as to how um, how certain things should be stated in the YouTube world if they want it to be stated that way because a lot of this now seems like it's black and white because if you're not saying sub for sub like for like follow my page help me build my page or any of those things within that context then I get it. If you're just posting that on somebody's comment or somebody's uh, somebody's page, that can be annoying because, yeah, you know, this person's looking for um, this person's actually looking for good feedback. So it's like you not giving me feedback by saying whatever you're saying. Are you even watching my video? Did you just click on my video just to leave that comment type of thing? So I, I see where YouTube is definitely coming from with that. But if it's somebody like me who definitely sits there, watches your video, gives a feedback, gives a comment, how exactly do I not get banned by saying, hey, you know what, let's be friends, help me build my page type of thing. So I don't know. But, you know, 
that's 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 how that's how that's taking place right now um but let me know what y'all think drop comments share the video hit the subscribe button i will see you guys on another hey come on no nope. i swear to you i got kids bro it, it's hard out here in these streets but i'll definitely be seeing y'all in another video hope everybody have a safe and blessed friday later